Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. We're not going to be doing any sewing in this video at all today, so you get a little bit of a rest. But I did want to make this video today to show my appreciation to all of the viewers out there that have been supporting me for the past couple of years. The channel is growing because you keep coming back and watching my videos and commenting and giving me lots of feedback. So thank you so much for all of your support over the last couple of years. I've really loved it. And through the comments, I feel like I'm getting to know everybody just a little bit more each time. Chris and I have a few people across each other's channels that are regular commenters. And we kind of pick up little tidbits about people uh, as you comment on our videos. We kind of like learning a little bit more about everybody each day. It's Christmas Eve morning here now. We are going to be a little bit hectic over the next few days. So I won't be coming in here to do any sewing for a few days. We've got the house all organized for family members to come and stay. And we'll end up having our family gathering here tomorrow. As well as all of the suggestions that people have been giving me in the comments, I've got lots of things planned for next year. I'm really hoping that 2024 isn't as hectic as the last few months have been here at home. And then I can get back to creating lots more video content for everybody. I do have a couple of projects finished. So I'll give you a sneak peek of the next two videos that are coming up. They're both scrap fabric challenges. So this one here is a nice rigid little handbag made out of scraps. You'll be seeing that video next. It's just taking me a little while to edit and with family around, it'll be a few more days yet. And with the remainder of the fabric, we have a cute little box bag. So those are the next two videos that are coming. I do want to do a video soon for some neckties so I've got a bunch of ties just over on the door there. I want to make something really nice for Chris's mum and perhaps Chris's kids. His father passed away last month and we've been going through the clothes and I saw the ties. I thought this would make a great memorial gift for some of the family members. So I'm racking my brains trying to think of something to make for them with those ties. So I think I'll do a couple of videos for that. Oh, Chris did a video the other day from his uh, unboxing and I saw this in his room and it's a, and the video is going to be a little bit late, but it'll be prepared for next year. This is a cute little vest. It's made out of vinyl, but it just sits on top of a wine bottle or a champagne bottle. So I haven't had time to do this. I've literally just saw this in the shed yesterday and I've pinched it off him. So we're going to do that early in the year as well. Oh, and I have a I have the opportunity to do a review on another sewing machine. So this one is a walking foot machine, which is, I think, dedicated to bag making. If you'd like me to do a video on that walking foot machine, I think they're going to loan it to me for a few weeks. I'll have a play with the machine, make some bags perhaps, and do a video for it. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see and I'll have the machine sent over. Uh, I have a giveaway. So by way of thank you for all of your support, I've got a couple of bags that I want to give away this year. Last year, I gave you the supermarket shopping bags, which are my number one seller. This year, I'm thinking that we might do these expandable storage bags. I originally started making these as shoe bags. And when you open them up, you've got all this room inside and they'll hold a pair of dance shoes and a bottle of wine. And I show you that in the video tutorial I did for this some time ago. So I'll pop the link up there for you. Uh, but this year I'm going to give away a couple of these storage bags. You can use them as shoe bags, wine bottle gift bags, craft bags. Uh, you can use them for hair straighteners and all sorts of things, tools. I've had a few people buy them to use them as tool carriers in their car. All I need you to do is put a comment in the comment section down below and two people will go into the drawer to win one of these shoe bags. And I'll post that out anywhere in the world. So whether you're in Alaska or Australia or, or the Himalayas, it doesn't matter. I'll post it anywhere that you receive mail. A lot of you know that we have a dedicated Facebook group called Christine's Home Affairs. 
We've got quite a big community there. I really love it when I've posted a video and then the next day or so I see people sharing the things that they've made from those most recent videos. So it's a really nice community. Everybody's really encouraging. You're making lots of fabulous products uh, and giving me some ideas as well for the future. So if you make anything from my videos, even if you sew from other people's videos, I'm not I'm not precious. Feel free to go over to the Christine's Home Affairs Facebook group and share all of those things that you sew. So I think that's it for me for now. Once again, thank you so much for all of your support over the past couple of years. You guys are amazing. You really encourage me to keep going all the time and the interaction that I've been able to have with everybody has been wonderful. It's been really helpful as well. I love the feedback I receive from everybody and the advice as well. So there's lots of good advice, lots of great ideas. And speaking of ideas, you guys have given me so many ideas. I've got pages and pages. I do write everything down. I don't necessarily get to them all. There's just not enough days in my week to get everything done that I'd like to get done. And then I wake up with some ridiculous idea in my head in the middle of the night and I think, okay, I'm gonna do that one today. I do hope to try and get a lot more projects done that people have requested this year. I've just remembered, I have mail. One is a gift that I've bought myself thanks to a viewer after seeing one of my videos. So I use a little magnetic seam guide on my machine. You've seen that in the last few videos. I think it was Richard, he mentioned another type of seam gauge. So you can get these off Amazon or eBay and I'm sure many other places. And I'm only just opening this up now. I haven't actually had a proper look at it. Oh, wow, that's a nice big magnet underneath. And funnily enough, I have a use for this magnet on its own, but I'll leave it in there. Um, so this magnet will sit on the machine. You'll see it in one of the upcoming videos. And apparently you can adjust it somehow. I'll work it out. But that's my little Christmas present to myself. So thanks so much for suggesting that. I've been keen to have a try of this one and see how it works. I did get something in the mail yesterday from Rosie. Now Rosie's in New South Wales. Rosie also sent me uh, these little products a little while back which are used for turning corners. It's a Christmas gift. <laughs> okay. To Christine, when Santa was making these, he thought of your furry friend. Oh, this must be for Coco. Happy festive season. Good health for 2024. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, not for Coco, but how cute is that? It's almost like a um, colourful version of Coco herself. So it does look kind of like a boxer. Thanks, Rosie. That's adorable. <laughs> Love it. Before I go, remove my glasses. I've had a lot of people asking me about my sewing space at work. I provide an alteration service there as well as selling my handmade and having the hand and having the second hand store in there as well. It's a kind of nice mix selling junk and handmade and doing alterations for the community. But I've had several people request a video of my sewing space and what kind of machines I use for my service. So I'll be doing a video in the new year for that. Let me know if you would like to see that. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for your support over the past couple of years. It's thanks to you that my channel has been growing so well uh, and I do really appreciate it. These bags, I will use a computer generated program to determine who the two recipients of the bags are. I'll announce that after Christmas sometime. So in the meantime, I hope everybody has a fabulously safe, happy and wonderful Christmas and New Year as well. Stay safe and I shall see you again in the New Year. Bye for now. Merry Christmas, everybody.